You know, to judge art and issues that modern art has to deal with, we need to understand what it is. Let's understand the following. Art is some kind of an evolutionary tool, and nothing less than that. A long time ago, about 50,000 years ago, when human consciousness just started to emerge, first rock paintings were a way to objectify an idea, the way to objectify, to give a form, to be able to relate to this idea, so that you could pray, so that you could specify a spirit that you were living with, so that you could create a moment that you could give your soul to. And the first phase of humanity, the pre-modern era, by the way, we have four eras connected to the word modern. It was a story of objectifying the world and objectifying man. But man at the time was only a symbol. Man is only a silhouette in the world of gods. It was portrayed as a silhouette on a bar relief and other things for many centuries. Gradually, the man started getting insolent, started getting bold and leaving the heavenly life, quote-unquote, that careless life when everything was God's creation. The man declared, I am, and the modern era came. As soon as the modern era came, man started using art not for the sake of connecting to the spirit, but in order to disconnect from the spirit. That's when these gorgeous paintings appeared, when sculptures, architecture started glorifying man. It all started helping man separate himself from nature, and what's more important, from from spirituality. This was the goal of the modern, taking responsibility, saying, I am. Man is made this way and in the other way, he's different, he has individuality, he has a face, he has a narrative, as if a man rules this life. We finished badly. We came to the third era, the most hardcore era of all time, the postmodern era. For a hundred years of the postmodern, there were more people destroyed than for the whole history of humanity. Art got different. It declared, man has to search within himself. So there's the horror of art that's called postmodern, and it's truly a horror. Broken lines, the scream by monk, everything is broken. This is the terror that man carries within himself. This is the art about himself. It says, look within yourself. This is what postmodern art is. If what you find inside is Duchamp's urinal, then don't be surprised. This is the beauty that we see in the postmodern man, his horror. This is what art is. It simply shows us the way we are. It is a mirror. It was reflecting us for a hundred years. A hundred years without creativity. A hundred years of pure reflection of reality. Men lost power and influence on the outside world. However, thank God, this came to an end, and right now we're in a new era, in the era of the meta-modern. Man overcame all his pains, to hell with suffering, we've had enough, we're fed up. All the healthy people reached out to health, even the sick did so, following the healthy, following the people who are attracted to beauty, to harmony. When we return to the beauty and harmony, we return to the world of spirits again. I would even say to the world of spirit, or in simple terms, to the spiritual world. Modern art is a spiritual realm, and there are people who are really anxious about this, how man asserts himself in the world. But no, in the spiritual realm, the man disentangles himself from his human experience. He becomes plain energy, a straightforward message of the line, a straightforward message of the color, a straightforward message of light. And this is a non-dual light. There are no shadows in the spiritual paintings. Shadows is what therapists, psychologists and psychiatrists have. Other heavy people of postmodern too. There is no shadow in the metamodern world. 
This is a non-dual world. Ortega de Gasset once talked about the dehumanization of art. It is a very smart thought. What does it mean? It means that art tries to free itself from the image of man, from man himself. There are lots of things on this planet that try to become free from man to survive. Art too tries to liberate from man. We shouldn't find ourselves in art. We have to follow art and thus perfect ourselves, find our perfect image. The age of ideals is coming. I would even say the age of ideals has come. The age of Apollo has come. Each of us has his own Apollo. But this is indeed the age of Apollo, enough being broken, torn, all-knowing, skewed, whatever, separated. I would say fat and separated. Fat, thanks to your own well-being, to the comfort of your own world. The world was never comfortable and will never be. The only realm where we can obtain happiness is the realm of the spiritual. Art serves the spiritual, not the human. This is what we talk about in the art of the meta-modern. This is what we talk about in the neuro art and in neurographica. I don't want to hear it any other way. It's either an archive or a spiritual life. Make your choice.